Hello and welcome to the short little demonstration on how to host your SCORM files on your own websites um, just uh, and hosting them on GitHub, publishing them on GitHub so you can take them anywhere you want and publish them on your, on your website as well. So a couple of things you need is uh, GitHub online so I need an account for uh, for GitHub and you also need the desktop version so download the desktop version of GitHub as well uh, and of course you need Captivator Storyline now when you publish in Captivator Storyline uh, publish it as an HTML5 uh, and but don't zip it up so it's your uh, file folder will look something like this with all your assets in here and make sure it's index.html. I think Storyline has something else, but rename it to index.html and it works just fine. So, yeah, we just have that folder in here. I've already published it. Uh, make sure that you publish it without the quizzing or the test scoring, or else it, it won't work at all. Uh, so, then first step is go to your desktop and uh, GitHub desktop and go to create a new repository on your hard drive or just new repository call it something git hub and for lack of a better term why not git hub and again the uh, uh, order is important so first just create your repository and it's pretty empty nothing going on in here so next step is to go in and then you'll notice that a new folder has been created um, wherever you wanted to create it, it asks you where you want to create it, and just copy all your assets from the published SCORM file. P copy it and paste it into that new folder that was just created. Once you paste it in here, you'll see that this uh, populates in here. So name it something. You have to name it down here. Anything. It just has to be full. GitHub. Don't think you need a description, but I like to put a description in there anyway. And that's it. Commit to master. That's important. So after that, just go down the list there. Commit to master. Don't publish yet. One more thing here. Under current branch master, you have to make a new branch. It doesn't work. Under here, type in gh-pages. Uh, GitHub pages. gh pages. And new branch. Create branch. And then now you can publish repository. Click on that and keep the code private. No, you want to host it on the public, the internet. So you got to take that off. Um, then publish the repository. And that's it for the online or for the desktop version. Now after this does what it does, and it looks like it's doing what it does pretty good. Fetching. There we go. We're done. So now I'm going to go online here. And it's going to refresh. It'll pop up on the list. I've got a few things now. And uh, yeah, it popped up on the list right here. Click on that. The new one. Go to settings over here on the far right. And then we should have way down here. We should have a nice little uh, website here. So if I open that in a new tab, boom, there it is. So you can just, not nothing spectacular, but it's a uh, score anyway. So you can just copy paste that and that's pretty much it. It's all hosted right here. Now if you did want to do an embed code, you can just do uh, like iframe. This is something extra. iframe embed generator. Uh, you can do that. And then you can just copy that. And then maybe you want to make it uh, 780 or something like that. A little bit bigger. Whatever. And then generate the code. And there's my embed code. All right. Yeah, so remember, order is important. And I uh, hope this one is a better take. Nice and simple, straightforward. So thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, you can leave a, leave a note, or, and I'll get back to you if you have any questions about this. Cheers.